Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by the Movie Hangout. Well, the early critic reviews are finally in. They dragged this thing out forever. I mean, typically when a movie, a big movie, is going to open soon, there'll be a pre-screening and the reviews will be up like a week before, but they didn't do that with this one. And I think that it's starting to show. So on Rotten Tomatoes here, which take this for for whatever you want to take it, originally this review was in the 70s. Now it's up to 83. I think that's because of peer pressure. There's 144 critic reviews. And of course, they removed the ability for the audience to give it a score, an anticipation score. So let's check out some of the early reviews here. It's very telling. Like when you go through all these, even the positive ones, it's very telling what the problem is with this movie. So let's just start right here. Good thing it's still March. Captain Marvel would have made a weak start to the summer blockbuster season. That's not good. Uh, okay, now the positive ones as well. Those ones, those ones really kind of show what's up with this. So Peter Travers, who is a total shill for the Rolling Stones, he says, you could ding it for convoluted plotting and a retro style that flattens the usual Marvel fireworks. And then, so basically the movie is kind of like a mess and it doesn't really, <clears throat> doesn't really add anything to the whole retro 80s dynamic. Uh, but then he just says one nice thing. He's like, but a dynamite Brie Larson gives hell to cosmic villains and sexist trolls. So again, what he does is he says that anyone who has a problem with Brie Larson and her behavior, not her like as a human being, like how she looks or something, but just her behavior, it, then you're a sexist troll. And uh, whatever, an orange feline named Goose. So there's like a cat in it or something, which I think is fitting for Brie Larson. Um, you go down, neither a blast from the past nor an inspiring glimpse into the future. At the end of the day, it's just another Marvel movie and not a particularly good one at that. See, Captain Marvel seems to hold itself to no higher standard than the absolute minimum that people tend to expect from the entry, an entry in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Uh, I mean, again, like even like the positive ones aren't that great. It is such a shame this film isn't a little better. A, as shaky and unfocused as Captain Marvel seems, that's not a good way to start a re review. It manages to reach its destination of confidence in the end. Larson sticks the landing. And then it goes back to negative, all but, all but with a something more muted than absolute triumph. A flawed but compelling introduction. Hearing a Nirvana song in a Marvel movie on the day Luke Perry died felt like a dire reckoning. Okay, this guy's just having a bad day. But the reviews aren't that great. And these are by people who are ideologically aligned with Brie Larson. You know, think the guys are the problem of all, uh, the cause of all the problems in the world and everything. Um, so let's, I'm going to go to a source that's not Rotten Tomatoes. I'm going to go to a source that is very, very crazy, in my opinion, that, that should give this movie the greatest reviews of any movie ever made. It should be like a hundred. It should be like a thousand percent right here. Let's go to Slate. Now I never read this thing because it's just total garbage. But this is pretty funny. So they're trying to make the the kind of muted negative reviews of Captain Marvel and spin it in a positive way, and it's pretty hilarious. Finally, women have their own mediocre Marvel movie. So. They're, they're basically making it a triumph. So Captain Marvel is just as formalistic as countless other superhero films. It's a triumph. So this author, Dana, she's saying that it is mediocre. It's lackluster. It's like whatever. But because it is, that is a good thing because men get mediocre, formula, just formulaic, whatever movies all the time and so women need need to make need need to be in so many movies that, that a lot of them are crap that's basically what she's saying i mean it's just absolutely ridiculous and you know this thing goes on and on about 
whole Marvel mythology and it says Captain Marvel sometimes resembles the kind of low budget sci-fi that might have played on kids TV on a Saturday afternoon in the era when this movie is set. Oh, that's not good. I mean, you want you want your special effects to at least look good. Now there's a, you know, a campy horror a lot of practical effects like 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 in a movie like uh The Evil Dead or Army of Darkness, you know, there's can't be horror special effects, but they're still well done. They're still they're still well done. This movie has a couple hundred million dollars in its budget, and so there's no excuse at all why it should look like crap. But that's the early reviews. I got I'm gonna be doing I'm gonna be following this thing opening weekend and we're gonna chart and see how well it's gonna do compared to other Marvel movies, as well as the finally, the fans will finally be able to uh, vote here. Finally. After they took it down, which is ridiculous. So check back with me. I'm going to be doing a lot of reporting on this this week. And as always, if you want to get future rants, reviews, or original content, subscribe. Later.